That's just terrible. That just stinks. I actually said on the way uh, down here, my pr- our producer, Sean Kane said, by the way, Phillies will have won three straight one-run games. Oh, yeah, Phillies won one, three straight one. No, no, they don't win three straight one-run games because they lose a one-run game. Thank you, Reese Hoskins. Ruben Amaro Jr. on Michael Barkan, John Crock in a moment. You're watching Phillies Post Game Live presented by Curado Insurance. You know, Ruben, I know one game does not a season make or a player's career make. I get it. But Reese Hoskins, they, they are right now 75 and 62. They'd have close to 80 wins were it not for some of his fumbles in the field, especially tonight. Couldn't guarantee that they would have won it were it not for that play, but they did lose it. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a very tough loss. There's no question about it, Michael. And it's amazing how, how well you can play for eight innings, and in, in one inning you can just kind of blow it. And unfortunately, I, I know that Reese – Probably would have made a different decision had had, uh, uh, had he had a chance to do it again uh, for him to, to try to make that play moving forward, just backed up on it. Per, if he would have backed up on it, just taking the out. Now, the double right out of the shoot, unfortunately, yeah. put them uh, put the Phillies in a tough, tough position. Uh, Dave Robertson's been leaving some pitches out over the plate uh, as of late. And, um, you know, unfortunately, after a very good game, it, it's just a really tough loss when you do such good damage against maybe the best pitcher in in all of baseball and at least in the National League at this time. I don't know the others would argue that, but uh, Alcantara has been struggling lately and they ha- they just have to take advantage of this type of situation and try to get them and buckle down this win. And that's why the last three outs of the game are truly important. Yeah, they were facing Sandy Alcantara for the fifth time this season. They were three and one in the prior four games. Phillies three and one against a guy who's the front runner for the Cy Young Award in the National League, and they had him again tonight and failed to do it. Let's go to John Cruck and check in with him at the ballpark. John, as someone who played first base to a fair D well, what w- what was Reese Hoskins trying to do? Did he just take his eye off the ball? Did he back up on it, as Ruben said? And- and what would you suggest to him from here on out as a teammate? Well, as a as a first baseman, uh, you know, look, Wendell, we know Joey Wendell's going to be busting it down the line. So it's not like you can just lay back and, 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 and you know, take it slow with him. But you look at this Philly situation now as they continue to chase October. And this is a tough one. They have now lost seven of their last ten games. We thought they were on a three-game win streak. Was not to be, courtesy of this one-run loss tonight in the ninth inning. And there they are, a half game back of the Padres. And the Brewers are about to sweep both halves of a doubleheader. And they could be two and a half up on Milwaukee by the end of this night. That's a big chunk of real estate to make up if you're the Brewers. And the Phillies... How to be conscious of it, not that they were trying to lose, but that really just puts a crimp in your style. Yeah, it makes it, makes it very tough. I mean, that's why every single pitch, every single game, uh, every single moment at, in September when you are in the hunt and you have a chance to be in the playoffs, uh, they're all very important. And uh, in, for some of these guys, this is, you know, this is a, a, a new, you know, this is a new world for, for some of the players here. I do like the way the young guys are handling it right now. Uh, I think that some of the veteran guys, uh, you know, we talk about uh, Schwarber, we talk about uh, Harper, who's been struggling a little bit. Um, those those two guys probably trying to do a little bit too much right now or a little bit of a funk. By the way, the reason I'm so upset, I know one run can swing either way in a game in the late innings, but the Phillies, when leading after seven innings coming into tonight, were 59-2. and two. Not a slam dunk, but pretty darn close. Here's Rob Thompson postgame. What happened when that ball hit him? Reese? Yeah, I think just a little over-aggressive on his part, you know. Um, should have got the out and uh, move forward from there. Um, yeah. Robertson's last three outings kind of shaky. What have you seen? Uh, he's maybe a little bit tired, but I don't think he's. I don't think we're putting him in danger zone. But I, I think he's a little bit tired. But you know, you look at the outing tonight. Cooper ball, well hit, um, and then we get the air. Walk, uh, walk then. Looked like I didn't. I didn't see it on TV, but it looked like he swung from my vantage point. But again, you got to overcome that stuff. But um, then I think it was a dribbler through the infield, and then he punched outside. So yeah, it was a tough one. Was Alvarado available tonight? No. Nor Brogdon, nor Bellotti. So. 
Gibson tonight. It seemed like there was a lot of hard contact. Yeah, there was, and, and um, that's why we got him out uh, a little bit earlier. I think he's just missing location, and you know, um, probably this. You know, there's not the same sink that he normally has. I, what that's from, I'm not sure. Um, but there was a lot of hard contact. Once we took the lead, then it felt like going to the bullpen right there. First game since that 18 run game that you guys have had multiple multi run innings in the same game. Do you, do you want to see more from the offense in terms of maybe making some of these games a little less close? Well, I mean, it, it takes all three sides to to get separation, offense, pitching, defense. Um, I thought we did a good job on a, a really good pitcher tonight, you know, scoring those, those runs. We got a little fortunate with the fly ball that was dropped, but um, um, but at least we, you know, we kept that inning going and ended up scoring a couple runs. So. I think it's tough to, to swallow, obviously, but you mentioned you know, Contra to kind of let him off the hook like that, you know, it's, to beat a guy like that or come close to being like that, a guy like that, does that make this one more frustrating? No, they're all frustrating. You know, we um, we won the series. Would have been nice to sweep. You know, um, but we just got to keep moving forward. Just keep moving on. We got Washington tomorrow, who's playing very well. So we got to be ready for that.